Dr. Baliga here. The case scenario or multiple choice question discussed in this podcast is derived from an outstanding chapter on patient safety in Baliga's textbook of internal medicine available at www.mastermedfacts.com. It's authored by Dr. Angela Tess, MD, who is Associate Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. She's a hospitalist in the Division of General Medicine and Primary Care, Department of Medicine at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, Director of QI and Safety for GME at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. During her second year as a hospitalist, she served as a Rapkin Fellow in Medical Education. She served as an Associate Program Director for the Internal Medicine Training Program where she was in charge of quality and curriculum development. As a hospitalist, Dr. Tess currently teaches on medical wards and is Director of Education for the Hospitalist Program. Dr. Eric J. Alper, MD, is Professor of Medicine at UMass Medical School. He completed his medical training and internal medicine at UMass Medical School. In 1996, he became the first hospitalist at UMass Medical Center and helped to create the hospitalist program there. He was the internal medicine clerkship director from 1998 to 2007 and patient safety officer for UMass Memorial Medical Center from 2003 to 2006. A 65 year old man is admitted for pneumonia. Clinically, the patient's improving. The night before the patient is scheduled to be discharged to a rehab facility, he has a seizure, a finger stick blood sugar is obtained and is found to be 18. His roommate is diabetic and was documented to receive insulin shortly prior to the seizure. After treatment with D50 and a night of observation in the ICU, the patient returns to baseline. Because he was in the ICU, his discharge to the rehab facility is cancelled and on return to the floor, another facility needs to be identified. Who is the second victim in this instance? A. The patient B. The roommate C. The patient's family D. The patient's nurse And the answer is D. The patient's nurse Second victim refers to the provider involved in an adverse event. We do not know yet why the patient received the incorrect insulin of all the choices given. Only D involves a provider. The effect of a medical error can be devastating. The patient himself may suffer as a result of an error. And even in case of no harm, the loss of trust and powerlessness can be distressing. The effect on the provider is similarly powerful No provider intends to harm patients and as a result, providers involved in adverse events have been termed the second victims. Providers can suffer overwhelming guilt and stress. They fear being discovered and begin to question their own skills or confidence. This is true even in cases when the system is to blame. The reality of practice today also forces providers to confront concerns of malpractice litigation related to an error and and how to disclose error to patients involved. The case discussed in this podcast is derived from Baliga's textbook of internal medicine from an outstanding chapter on patient safety authored by Dr. Angela Tess, MD, Associate Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School and she is a hospitalist in the Division of General Medicine and Primary Care Department of Medicine at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, BIDMC. She is also the Director of QI and Patient Safety for GME at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston. During during her second year as a hospitalist, she served as a Rapkin Fellow in Medical Education. During this fellowship, Dr. Tess created a model to teach quality improvement to residents. She served as an associate program director for the internal medicine training program 
where she was in charge of quality and curriculum development. Dr. Tess currently teaches on the medical wards and is the Director of Education for the Hospitalist Program. She has led faculty workshops in both curriculum development and patient safety education. She is currently co-director of SHM and AAIM's Quality and Safety Educators Academy. Dr. Eric J. Alper is MD FACP, SFHM, is a professor of medicine at UMass Medical School, where he also did his medical training and his internal medicine residency. In 1996, he became the first hospitalist at UMass Medical Center and helped to create the hospitalist program there. He was the Internal Medicine Clerkship Director from 1998 to 2007 and the Patient Safety Officer for UMass Memorial Medical Center from 2003 to 2006. He is now the Vice President and the Chief Clinical Informatics Officer at UMass Memorial Healthcare. He has received multiple teaching awards and has been recognized for numerous quality and patient safety improvements.